He came back, and I heard him make the statement that when you say hallelujah, that's the same as saying praise God 3,000 times. You think about that. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. If you say that 10,000 times, but to say hallelujah one time, it's the same as saying praise God 10,000 times. The angels in heaven are rejoicing. Our heavenly Father is rejoicing. One day they came to Jesus for sure. They told him, they said, Quieten the children, keep the children away. Jesus for sure said, Suffer the little children to come unto me, for such is the kingdom of heaven. And he said, Forbid them not. He said, Except we that are adults become as little children, we cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. Children never hate each other until they're taught to hate one another. Children of different nationalities will play together. They don't ask each other, what is your religion? Adults do that kind of stuff, but children don't. Because religion wouldn't die for us. And in born into our spirits, Jesus Yeshua said, the Holy Ghost will look in God as an old truth, and we'll know the truth and the truth and the truth. But when I read the Bible college, we to the I but they need to listen to our men taking the voice of God's word. When it says, I will have a good heart, then it might not be. Hey, did you go to the world? Hey, did you go to the world? Hey, did you go to the General Camelie, who had to be in Mandela area. We're here in Lano do Norte. At his home, he's graciously opened up his home to me, invited me to come here. His men told me that he's constantly texting to check to make sure. And I'm okay. I thank you for him. I thank you for his concern. And he was anxious to know how many people are attending the meetings. Because he's concerned about souls. I pray that you would bless him. That you would watch over him in the military force here in the Philippines. Watch over the president of the Philippines. Watch over our president in the United States. Watch over the leaders. Republicans, Democrats, whatever their affiliation is, let there be unity. Let people realize that we need to each other. Touch the hearts of religious leaders. I've made this statement so many times in different parts of the world. The problem in the world today is not the government leaders, but it's the religious leaders who need to repent. They don't have a right to point their finger at no one else unless they're doing what your word says. One's breaking one commandment and another one's breaking another commandment. They're a hypocrite if they condemn the one that's breaking another commandment. When they're breaking commandments themselves. Jesus, you sure you said, if you love me, keep my commandments as I kept my father's commandments. You said, herein shall all men know that you're my disciples when you have love one for another. You want there to be unity in your body. You want there to be unity in the church. And I pray that you would touch the hearts and lives of people throughout the world. Not just in America, not just in the Philippines. But you died for all.
all humanity throughout the world. Any country that would hear this, that this would be broadcast into, I pray that you would touch the hearts of the leaders. Let them come to know Jesus Christ as sure as their Lord and Savior. I've made the statement. It is a miracle that Saddam Hussein was found alive. And I believe in your infinite mercy, you can bring salvation to that man. That he can come to know your only begotten son, Jesus Christ Yeshua, as his Lord and Savior. That thousands and millions of Muslims have come to know you as Lord and Savior because you can touch his life and his heart and change him. You said, I have other sheep that are not of this fold with them. I must go get and bring that there be one shepherd and one fold. You're the only Lord to the Father, Jesus Yeshua. And I pray that you will touch the hearts and lives of people around the world and let them realize that. And I thank you. Let the Holy Ghost be with us tonight. Let the Holy Ghost be a comfort to people here tonight. And let people that do not know Jesus Christ Yeshua as our Lord and Savior come to know him as our Lord and Savior. We thank you for your Sabbath day that is already ended today. This is Saturday evening now. Brother Christopher and I, we had Bible study most of the morning and afternoon. Learned a lot of the scripture and a lot of the young people. And I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Yeshua. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is sure on the inside, working on the Thank you. 